Hello everyone. Welcome to JS6 Angular's tutorial. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be building a production grade an application from the scratch. And this application is going to be using ng bootstrap for building its UI component, which is a very popular UI library. We are also going to be making use of HAGrid for displaying the grids and also going to be using a tool called Makun to mock our responses. And along the way, we will see and notice and implement best practices of angular framework and we will also use bem for designing the css and or rather the scss and let's quick have a quick look at the application that we are going to be building this application is a student record application we are going to be building along the way and in this using this application a user can enter a student's name and their subjects and their respective marks so here, as you can see on your screen is the landing page, which displays the login component. Upon click on the login button here, you will end on the landing page of this application, which also shows home highlighted over here. So it's a sample application. You can expand the side panel like this. You can also, uh, let's say search different, um, users and simply do a text search like this as you can see the israel is highlighted over here if you click on the students tab here which is here it displays a list of students available in the university and their basic details you can click and see the record in full like this you can cancel and also if you wish to delete up any particular record so you can click on the delete functionality over here delete button over here and a pop-up would be shown if you click on ok the button the record would be deleted similarly you can clear a selection like this by clicking on this clear selection button over here and this is basically AG grid which is a very popular grid library a search operation available here from the grid as well as you can see it contains Leo Laura blender and then you can search it and can select a record and view again if you have multiple records it's very easy to make use of you can also clear the selection like this and then the full records would be displayed on this page and here you have the third tab which displays primary subjects as i said earlier there are going to be four primary subject in this application which is chemistry maths computer and physics if you click on chemistry here uh, all the students who have taken chemistry along with that or the other subject the student has taken would be displayed over here you can increase the font size by clicking on the parent component or here as well which is a child component and here you can also reduce the size of um, the student name like this right so it basically displays how to communicate from two different components and then here you have other subjects like physics maths computers and if you click on those students who have taken those primary subjects along with the other subjects would be displayed and their respective marks right so this is the application you're going to be building and in this application some of the components are standalone some of the components are module based so we will see and we'll build it along the way